Welcome to your favorite channel, What the Bible Says with Ngozi Atiti. My name is Ngozi Atiti and today we have another interesting topic to discuss. We want to unpack this question everyone has been asking. Who then is perfect or how can I be perfect? Stay tuned and watch why we unravel this mystery and kind of a little bit difficult question that everyone has been posing out there. So stay tuned as we go through the scriptures and find out what the Bible means when it says, Be ye perfect even as the Father is perfect. Keep watching. What then is the meaning of perfect? So I went to the dictionary to find out the meaning of perfect. Perfect means to be complete and to be absolute. Now, does it mean that we should live our lives without mistakes? What the Bible means there? Absolutely not. It means we should be devoted, we should be dedicated, we should be loyal, and we have to be faithful. Who is faithful? It is that person who is loyal, constant, and steadfast. The one who spends his time doing what God has called him to do. The one who takes off his cross to follow Jesus. The one who denies his fleshy desires and spends his life on the things of God. Now, to further illustrate what we mean by faithfulness, I want to use the relationship between Naomi and Ruth to further expatiate on this. In Ruth chapter 1 verse 16 to 17, Naomi had a husband and two sons. And those two sons, one of them is the husband of um, Ruth. Then when the two sons died, and even the husband of uh, Naomi also died, Naomi asked her two daughter-in-laws to go their way to meet their parents because she cannot, uh, she's not able to bear children anymore. And even if she does, how long can they possibly wait for the sons to become, to grow old, to become their husbands? Now, here is what uh, Ruth responded. I read from Ruth chapter 1, verse 16 to 17. But Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you, or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts you. So the mistakes we make in life, or on the course of our Christian race, does not stop God from being faithful. It doesn't stop God from letting the sun shine on you. Neither does it stop the rain from falling at its due season. All God requires from us is faithfulness. Faithfulness and consistency in doing and obeying His instructions. So, if you have been thinking and wondering how you can live a life void of mistakes, mm -mm. now you have known that He is not looking for that kind of perfection. All He's looking for is someone who will be dedicated and someone who will be faithful and consistent in doing and in trying and striving to obey his instructions. So, I hope this has encouraged someone out there. If you have been postponing this for you, the future is now. The future is right now. So stand up and pick up one thing. Start with a little. All you need to do is each day and each time try to achieve one at a time and until i see you in another video all i'm asking just remain faithful and remain consistent in doing what is just right thank you and from me to you remain faithful shalom